welcome children and welcome back to your english class after a short break children today we are going to start lesson number 7 of your reader book that is around the world in 80 days children in this chapter we will read about a british man's zeal to travel the world in 80 days we will read what makes him decide to travel the world in 80 days and what preparations he made before starting his journey before starting the chapter we should know something about the author the author of this chapter is Jules Verne he was a french writer he wrote novels plays and poems and was highly popular during his lifetime he is best known for writing the novels around the world in 80 days journey to the center of the earth and 20000 leagues under the sea Verne is often considered one of the founders of science fiction and remains to this day one of the most translated literary authors in the world. So children now we are going to start the chapter. Children this chapter is an excerpt from a famous novel around the world in 80 days you all have read this novel in your previous class also so before starting just have a look at the difficult words children the very first word is wager wager means bet and the next one is accept Now start reading the chapter with me and you all have to put your fingers where I am reading A true gentleman never jokes when a serious wager is in question said Mr Fogg I will bet 20000 pounds with anyone that I shall make the tour of the world in 80 days or less that is in 1900 and 20 hours or 115200 minutes will you all accept so children this is the story about phileas fogg he is a wealthy british man and he is the speaker of these lines In this paragraph we come to know that he bet 20000 pounds that he can make the tour of the world in 80 days his friends agreed to accept each laying a wager of 4000 to his 20000 so he bet with his friends that he stake his 20000 pounds to take the challenge of completing the journey of the world in 80 days Well said Mr Fogg the Dover train leaves at 8:45 I shall go by that So what he says that the train from which I will leave for the tour it goes at 8:45 and he is thinking to go by that train this very evening asked Stuart so one of his friend asked are you going today only this very evening repeated Phileas Fogg he took out his pocket calendar Today is Wednesday 2nd October. I shall have to be back in London in this very room of the Reform Club on Saturday 21 December at 8:45 in the evening. If I am not here then the 20000 pounds in my deposit account will be yours gentlemen. Here is a check for the amount. So in this paragraph we come to know that they had a bet of 20000 pounds and he assures his friends that if he is not going to 
return by the given date then the 20000 pounds in his account will be divided between his friends so coming to the next a statement of the wager was written down and signed by the six members of the club so whatever the conditions of the bet were they were noted down and signed by the members so these are the members phileas fogg stuart fallentin sullivan ralph and flangan so these are the friends phileas fogg remained quite calm he had staked half his fortune and he knew that he might have to spend the other half in completing his journey his friends on the other hand were feeling uncomfortable because they thought that the wager was one sided and unfair to him stake is when we put something in lieu of something so he has staked he has made the bet in lieu of 20000 pounds so he is thinking that he has staked half his fortune he might win or he might lose he don't know and he might have to spend the other half in completing his journey whereas his friends on other hands were feeling uncomfortable because they thought that whatever are the conditions of the bet they are one sided and unfair to phileas fogg at this moment the clock struck 7 o'clock it means it is 7 o'clock in the clock mr fogg was asked if he would like to stop playing so as to prepare for his journey so one of his friends asked we shall stop playing if you want to prepare for your journey i am always ready replied phileas fogg diamonds are trumps so see we can see the meaning of the word trumps one of the four types of cards that ranks above the others in a card game so trump is one of the card that ranks above the other cards in a card game so all the friends were playing cards he said after he had dealt the cards you begin mr stewart so one of the card named is diamonds and that diamond card is one of the biggest card it ranks above the others in the card game at 25 minutes past 7 phileas fogg took leave of his friends and left the club he had won 20 guineas at whist at 50 minutes past 7 he entered his house so guineas it is a unit of money or a gold coin used in the britain in the past whist it is a card game for two pairs of players so means all the friends were playing the game whist at 50 minutes past 7 he entered his house so finally he left his friends in the club and he entered his house to start the preparations for his journey pass but out had been making a careful study of the daily routine so children here a new name occurred pass but out pass but out was the valet of mr fog and children valet is a man who looks after another man so he is the caretaker of mr fog so he was carefully studying the daily routine of his master according to the program mr fog never came home before 12 at night and pass but out could hardly believe his ears when he heard him come in so usually his master returns at 12 and when he returned early today he was surprised he couldn't believe then what happened phileas fogg went straight to his bedroom and then he shouted for his servant means he called him pass but out made no reply the call couldn't not be for him it was the wrong time so actually pass but out he knew that his master comes at 12 o'clock so he thought that the call is not for him so he didn't reply to the call pass but out called mr fogg again pass but out went in i have called you twice said his master now his master angrily 
said that I have called you twice, but you didn't reply. But it is not twelve o'clock, replied Passepartout, his watch in his hand. So accordingly, he told his master, as you used to come at twelve, and it is not twelve o'clock in the watch. I know it is not, replied Phileas Fogg, and I am not finding fault. We leave for Dover in ten minutes. So his master replied, I very well know that it is not twelve, but we have to leave for Dover in ten minutes. A puzzled smile appeared on the Frenchman's face. Are you going away, sir? So Passport was a bit confused, and in confusion he asked him, Are you going somewhere? Yes, answered Phileas Fogg. We are going to travel round the world. So he replied, not I. Actually, we are going. Passport stood still. Without moving, he was stunned to hear this. His eyes staring and his body limb. His eyes continuously stared his master. Without any motion, his body was limp. He was just like paralyzed. Without any expression. Round the world, he murmured, he talked to himself. In eighty days, added Mr. Fogg, so we must not lose a moment. So we have to complete the journey in eighty days, so we should not waste our time. But the trunks, he asked, his servant asked, no trunks, just a travelling bag. It means we are just going to take a small travelling bag, not the trunks. Put in two shirts and three pairs of socks for me and the same for yourself. So, he instructed Passport out for these items to be kept in bag. We shall buy what we need on the way. Bring my raincoat and other belongings. So, children, in this video, we will read only this much. Till then, Read the chapter again and we will continue the rest of the chapter in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care, children.